Well, hello, you glorious bastards, and welcome to nervous people going nervously to festivals for the first time in nine years. I'm heading off to Resistance momentarily. It felt so weird. I wrote my packing list and it said Tans 23 on it. And I was like, 23? Because the last time I went, it was Tans 2014, and the only thing in its 20s was me. Um, and now it's it's nine years later. So hopefully this is my first little step out of my, my burrow, and uh, soon I will start going to places again. That is, that is the idea, so fingers crossed. See you soon. Uh. <laughs> Sheffield I am in you and I've got the most amazing view in this hotel room everything is a little bit a little bit sparse this bed is not very big but there's only one of me so it doesn't really matter and the view the view look at my view isn't it spectacular oh I haven't used the zoom yet to see what I can zoom in on Wow, I can go all the way over here and spy on these people. I was really peeved actually because I thought this was a roof for like climbing on. I saw this and like this, the window is like massive. So I was like, oh my God, I can get out there and get on the roof. But no, it only opens this big. Ain't no one getting through that. So. <laughs> no mischief. Oh, wow. Check it out. I haven't seen this, but look at the mirror. It's got lighting. I mean, it's very yellow lighting, but it could be worse. There's my ancient, my antiquated camcorder. So um, people who, who ever ask me, like, oh, I'm getting into YouTube and what camera should I buy? Don't, don't ask me. I've had this since 2014. Um, it's massive. It's way bigger than it needs to be. Like, I think kind of YouTubing cameras are actually quite dinky these days. I mean, they're way pricier, but they're like quite dinky. And they're like, and I'm still lugging around this, this huge thing, but I'm, I don't like change, I'm attached to it. And, um, hmm. Oh, hotels are fucking fantastic. I have found out how to work the TV, which is always a thing. I don't really watch TVs at home, but I am watching Stardust muted at the moment. I've just ordered some room service. There are some fries coming to me. I don't know how long they take. Got to eat chips in bed. It's lovely. And um, the menu actually, oh man, I was so enjoying the menu until I realized it has the calories written next to everything. And um, <gasps> you don't even want to know, man. But some of the things I wanted, there's like half a day's worth of calories in. I'd have to be dancing a ridiculous amount to justify that. Da -na -na -na. I've got food under a silver tray and it's chips and it smells really, 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 really good. I've got some nice coffee over here. Nice coffee over here. Big telly. Ah, oh, I feel like, um, <laughs> I feel like I'm in Home Alone 2 when he's like lost in New York in a hotel on his own. Ah, oh, that smells so good. I'm going to eat it. <laughs> well, I think I'm actually ready. I think I'm actually ready for day one. I've got a ring lamp over there. And thank God, because the lighting in here is, is a little bit, as you can see, it's a little bit mood lighting. But uh, anyway, First day's outfit, I've got pillows all over the fucking place. They've given me so many pillows I don't know what to do. See, it's mood lighting. You can't see what the fuck I'm wearing. I just want to say thank God for Killstar and all this oversized meshy shit they're selling recently because I feel like a dumpling at the moment and um, all this oversized messy shit is, is just fantastic. You can't see me at all. You can just see, oh look, I'm a, I'm a weird sort of black and pink shape. And it's actually this, I thought it was a sweater when I bought it and it's actually this meshy stuff. And it's so cool and light and I'm hopefully not going to be, hopefully not going to be sweating like a beast, um, is what I'm hoping for. It's <laughs> shit tip already, man. It's <laughs> I've been here for like five seconds and everything is already a shit tip, but uh, anyway. Behold my cozy little empire. I brought some little fake candles to be flickering away around the place. And uh, I also brought my ring lamp. It can do this too. This is a new one I bought just for this because like I couldn't be asked moving my old one, but this does like cool effects. 
and um, it's doing rainbows at the moment. It's super pretty, but you gotta check this out. Hang on, hang on, hang on. We're about to bounce on the bed. Not literally, but up on the bed, up on the bed, up on the bed, so you can see from an even higher angle out of the window. Check this out. Look how far you can see. I am so pissed that I can't get out there on the roof. <laughs> I really want to be out there on the roof. Oh, wow, the um, oh, little, little, little. The resist resistance. I'm not very drunk. How how many drinks did I have today? I think four shots of Jack Daniels. That's a bit naughty for me. I usually only have two or three at most. Um, as you probably know, I was a gigantic alcoholic at some point, so I don't really drink now, but I can still drink socially. Like my, my hard line on all of these things is just like never do morning drinking, never do daytime drinking at all. Particularly not if you've been drinking the evening before and you're hungover, like don't do hair of the dog because that's what turned me into an alcoholic in the first place. So um, if anyone tries to bring me out tomorrow to be like, come on, let's go waste it at lunchtime, like that's not happening. Um, <laughs> but uh, four jacks in the evening has been quite pleasant and I had a little bit, a little tiny bit of weed as well. And um, that cheered me up, that made me feel like dancing. But anyway, what I was trying to say, the, <laughs> the resistance band this year is perfectly the same shade of pink as my top, which is so considerate of them. Actually, I nearly ended up, hello, hello, focus, 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 focus. Um, <laughs> I nearly ended up with a uh, with like an artist pass today because two people in a band who were like playing tomorrow. I don't know. I don't know who they were. I don't. I don't many. No, I, I don't know many of the bands <laughs> on tomorrow. This is what happens if you don't really um, if you don't really drink like ever. Four Jack Daniels is, turns you into a mess. But um, yeah, so there were two people in a band behind me and they were dicking around getting the waistbands, the wristbands. <laughs> And um, I nearly ended up being considered a band member too, so I could have had a band pass if I had have not been so autistically honest and said, no, not me. I should have just said, yeah, yeah, or just kind of pretend I didn't really understand and let it flow on. And then I, I don't know what, a, what it gets you if you get like a band pass. I don't know what it does for you, I don't know. I wish I knew Sheffield well enough and trusted Sheffield enough to go for a walk around it in the night because it's I love cities at night but you know you just you don't feel safe unless you're with another person um it sucks it'd be nice to just be able to roam around cities at night not feeling worried about anything I need to be a vampire to do this <laughs> holy mother of god don't judge my musical taste right now but um look at the fucking moon man have you ever seen anything that big and that orange? Is that the moon or does Sheffield have some mad monument? Because, damn dude! Yeah, this music, I watch TikTok too much, okay? And, um, <laughs> but this moon, holy shit. I wish my hands were steadier. <laughs> is, it, is it just me who um, constantly in a hotel has the desire to just like run around naked and um oh, i need to take out my contacts but um yeah hotel rooms they make you want to just jump on the bed naked and be a be an anarchist <laughs> a naked anarchist i've just got to show you my pretty rave gloves these are the most obnoxious things i have ever owned they're so cool though this camera is just not picking up the traces and stuff that you see in person in person you can kind of make like shaky lines with it you can keep like keep popping it out at people. <laughs> I am hit and absolutely hypnotized by these things. I think they're amazing, and um, <laughs> I love them. They were just a random Amazon find. I was just looking for my usual like glow fingering things, but um, these are the bomb. I mean, your fingers get a bit sweaty, but because they're literally gloves. But um, <laughs> anyway, I'm supposed to be going to sleep. I'm kind of trying on outfits. Um, I was just going to wear trousers and stuff two, two days in a row, but I have brought one dress and I'm kind of like, I might wear it, I don't know. Oh, look at that. Oi! Oi! Oh, gravy, gravy, gravy. <laughs> I guess I'm going to go to bed and all of that boring shit. No, I'm not. I'm going to watch some TV and enjoy my hotel bed for a while. 
then fall asleep. Okay. Night night, day one over. <laughs> Damn dude. I don't know what the time is right now. I've literally just woken up, but look at all of this beautiful mist and all the everything just glinting in the mist. It's just so stunning. Wow. Wow. I swear there was like I don't know, you could see like a bunch of stuff yesterday now, there's just mist. Yeah, 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 you can, look, see, wow. I literally don't know what the time is. I think it's like, I don't know, <laughs> like four or something. I need to go back to bed. Uh. <laughs> uh, day two, I feel fucking rough this morning. I can't believe, I can't, I can't, I can't believe so many things. <laughs> I can't believe. The amount I used to drink, considering like so I had like four units yesterday, and uh, I feel really shit today. Um, and I used I used to drink like 30, 40 units in a day every day. No wonder I felt rough back then. But like, how did I do that? How? Anyway, it's still a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day. If you like that sort of thing, um, it's so foggy. I've just noticed there's this hillside with this thing on. That looks really familiar. We've got something really similar kind of near Birmingham too. I don't know what it is. I'd like to go walking somewhere woody, but that's actually probably miles away. Anyway, I'm about to go and see what this breakfast thing is all about. I've got hotel breakfast, so boo, sounds good. <laughs> Gloomy Sheffield Saturday, Sunday morning even. And um, Sunday morning. Gloomy, gloomy, gloomy. Can you still see the mist in the distance though? It's beautiful. <laughs> I've just had chocolate croissants for breakfast. It was lovely. And um, now I'm going for a little bit of a potter around because it's such a nice fresh day and my head needs clearing out. <laughs> I treated myself to one more cheeky room service. Got my atmospheric lights on. Sheffield's lighting up over there. Desolation of Smaug going on over there. And, um, oh, it's very cosy. I kind of don't want to go out tonight, but um, <laughs> hopefully once I'm fueled up, I will be off. I have got under here, hopefully, some, yep, some chicken breast and some chips. It's going to be good. It smells fucking delicious. <laughs> Night. Ich bin back in meine hotel and <laughs> um, <laughs> I have I have come back. I've come back. I'm very proud of myself. I, I'm also quite pissed, um, but I, I am very proud of myself. I uh, I found my way to the venue all by myself while using Google Maps, but my Google Maps has gone all screwy. So I'm quite proud that it worked and I got there. And I think I think I have I have tonight. I have captured the essence of resistance, and I have decided that I quite like it. Grendel, a very interesting life. They don't sound anything like their records. It, they they put away all the electronic stuff and they get out guitars and it's really different but I quite enjoyed it. I, I, I mean a lot of people were dancing and enjoying themselves. Some people were kind of like, I like the records better but um, yeah, which I, I kind of understand but I really enjoyed it. I really liked it. And there were some lovely people. There were some lovely people out tonight. It's definitely worth I was gonna say making an effort with your makeup but actually I didn't. These are completely stickers and I just stuck them on my face 
and this could not be lazier makeup if it tried <laughs> but clearly people thought I made an effort with my makeup because lots of people were friendly to me tonight and nice oh mm, a very nice boy with long wavy hair like Tim and um, <laughs> Oh man, I, I say some things. He was he was being very complimentary and I was just like, Are you kidding? Like I was trying I was trying to tell him that he was beautiful basically, but I was just like, Are you kidding? Can I just have your body? And I was like, but not like that. And um I was like, but but I, I just mean like a body sort of trying to like backpedal and he was like, actually the first one's okay. Why didn't I why didn't I pursue that harder? I should have pursued that harder. No, I just I just got all embarrassed and said nothing. So there we go. But this is the thing. Resistance quite a lot of sexy people out tonight actually and I, I came very close to capturing this essence in 2013 when I wrote a ridiculous song about resistance and Premier Inn um, that the walls are all stripy and everyone's out to fuck you and there's nothing but goths in the town and corporation water is a funny shade of brown and things like that um, but yeah Premier Inn everyone is trying to bone everyone else at Premier Inn at Resistance so if you want to get shagged and you're going to Resistance go to the Premier Inn because that seems to be where all the horny people go <laughs> um, but um, whereas Jury's Inn this this one which is actually called the Leonardo Hotel now um, but it always used to be Jury's Inn you don't seem to get so many horny people um, in the lifts and stuff, which is more chill, but kind of boring at the same time. Um, but no, the, I think the essence of resistance is that you come to this place and, and most of the people I saw tonight are round about my age, give or take, like give or take on both sides. But we've all watched the scenes die in our respective towns, so now you come to resistance and you suddenly go wow this is like being young again because it's like when you used to go out and you'd think god who am i gonna meet tonight like there could be like just gorgeous people lurking in the shadows and who am i gonna meet tonight and that's actually how it is at resistance because there are gorgeous people lurking in the shadows everywhere and it's like who am i gonna meet tonight and it's it's crazy because this hotel room like i'm territorial as fuck about my hotel room like Mm, I would have to really like someone to let them in my hotel room because it's like how do you get them out when you're done with them if it's your hotel room I, I've had that experience before and it's like I never want to have it again so I'm territorial about about my hotel room so I don't get laid but um but you see you see so many gorgeous people however the downside of resistance at this point in the world when everyone there is my age is that most people realistically are coupled by this point so you see the beautiful people and um and you can you can have some very lovely flirtation with the beautiful people but generally speaking the beautiful people are completely taken and it will never go further than that <laughs> um so that's the thing anyway this is a huge fucking waffle i've still got some chips over there of which i'm very excited about there's meant to be uh why am i Look, 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 the force of habit. I haven't had a watch. My watch died about three months ago and I'm still like staring at my watch looking for the time. Um, there's meant to be a huge gap in programming between the end of Grendel and the club night starting. The club night's going to start in about 15, 20 minutes and I'm thinking, shall I eat my chips, have some weed and then go back for a little bit? I'm tempted, I'm tempted. Well, hello, hello. It is the last day, as in the day of going home. I'm not ready to go home. I want to stay in this hotel longer. I want another night of festival, at least. I woke up feeling not that shit today, though. I took a beta blocker when I got in so I could sleep, and I drank, I jug, chugged down a horrible glass of water, and I think it's actually worth it if you've been drinking. Um, it does actually work. I woke up feeling not that shit. Uh, the shit has crept up on me though, I feel kind of shit now. Um, I'm gonna go down for breakfast in about half an hour and then have a leisurely breakfast and check out and hope nothing goes wrong, touch wood with the journey home. Oh, it makes me miss lots of things. It makes me miss, miss goth clubs being frequently on or being on at all. But, um, did I say I've got tickets to VMV Nation? So I've got VMV in the calendar for a while, but, um, Feels drab and boring to be going home already. <laughs>
Oh, aren't you bored to be back in this place again with all of this behind you? Isn't it boring? Oh, it's so boring. <laughs> Being back so boring. I've just, I've just ordered sushi. I've never ordered takeaway sushi before. I may have gone a touch overboard. I was picturing something half this size. <laughs> I'm going to be eating sushi for a week. Um, I don't really mind that. I bought some that, some chips and a bottle of fizzy water just to make myself feel like I'm still in a hotel. Um, <laughs> you have to lubricate your passage back into being home, I think. So I'm watching Cloverfield because I wanted to watch Event Horizon. And I thought, no, that's probably going to scare me just as much as it did when I first saw it when I was 16. So I'm uh, going to have my sushi and my chips now, pretending I'm still in a hotel. I'm going to get my passport sorted so I can go on adventures because I loved going on my little adventure. I've still got my little wrist wristband on. I don't really want it on because it's not comfortable. This has been giving me the, the autistic sensory icks all weekend. I'm not enjoying wearing this thing. Um, but... Um, but nonetheless, it's a very pretty colour and I'm attached to it. Oh, this is the um, the Grendel t-shirt I ended up buying just before I left last night. It's got this creepy dude on the front with the creepy eyes and I quite like it. And it's nice and big. Um, <laughs> so uh, kind of kind of my thing for, for next year and for the next little while is I just, I need to get off my ass and do more exercise and get a bit more in shape. Um, because I didn't, I didn't really enjoy basically wearing the same outfit both nights just because it was big and baggy and covered me up. Um, that was a bit boring. I'd like to be able to have a bit more muscle and go there topless like I used to go everywhere when I was happier with what I looked like. So that would be cool. But also I'm just so fucking unfit. I'm so fucking unfit. I've pulled, did I say I've pulled a muscle in my leg just from practice dancing before I even came out and it's fucked right now. Um, so I want, I want more dancing stamina for next time and to be able to go out topless and fit into all my favourite clothes and things like that. That would be really cool. But I want to get up to Sheffield very soon for one of their Saturday nights, I think. Anyway, I have got sushi. It's looking at me. It looks gorgeous. I'm going to devour it. Mm. <laughs>